is 38. Hey. is very very on armor train. It should be here. It can hold on Valamari as well as multiple things. See we still got a lot of machines with this boss too. And we're supposed to be leaving by we gonna make it? Uh oh Oh yeah it's here Ah uh. Clear. Come on, pan up, pan up. I'm trying to see. Students and instructors of Thor's, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I am Major Claire Revelt of the Railway Military Police. I'm here to hand off the armored train Derflinger to the branch campus. You go help with the surprise? Look at her! Looking like Chie! Well, not looking like Chie, but acting like Chie. That's some Chie shit right there. She's a Chie. Oh, Captain! I mean, Major Claire. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Indeed, I believe we haven't seen each other since the end of last year. I want to gra congratulate you on graduating and on your new job here at the branch campus. Though, you may not want to hear that from me. <laughs> That's not the case at all. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I never could have dreamed you'd be the one handing the train off to us. <laughs> Merely a been elected to be here, though. Just aside, you have the full support of the RMP, including securing the site for your field exercises. I'll be joining you on your trip. You, I'll be joining you on your trip to the site, so you'll have to put up with me a bit longer. <laughs> put up with, she says. Hey, what are you two talking about? You know, instructor Randolph? It's good to see you again. How does she know her? You two know each other? Last year, I worked at a temp worked as a temporary. Instructor for Crossbell's Military Police Academy. Whoa! We know each other from then. Yeah, I really enjoyed your lessons. And you really helped me out that one time. That one time? I'm proud to a girl's past like that. You're there. You seem to be doing well. Uniform really suits you. <laughs> Thanks, I still feel a bit weird wearing it though. Well, somebody's running hot and cold today. And first, Lieutenant Orlando. Good to see you again, too. I can't thank you enough for your help here at the branch campus. Well, I was kind of forced into it, but don't worry. I'm going to do all the work I'm doing. As long as you keep your hands clean, anyway. 
Yes, yeah, well, I shall keep that in mind. It's like, it seems like there's more going on here than I thought. So this is where you've been, Major Rita. Michael, obviously. Good day, Major. Nice to see you again, Todd. Wow, I can't believe it's really been half a year since I saw you during my time with the, the, yo, the building, remember? The building that almost got hit. It's nearly our departure time. We're the principal and the professor. She has yet to even lower her soul dot. Oh, is she still having the gold, the golden one? Her soul dot? I wonder if it's the golden one I saw during the Northern War. There's no need. She's not. A pleasure to see the both of you, Lady Aurelia, Professor Schmidt. Mm. You're that RMP. Long time no see, I see. Man. Thank you for the delivery of the armored train. Seeing us to our exercise grounds. No thanks to necessary. I'm simply performing my duty. More importantly, will you not be taking your soul? As I said, there's no need. Neither I know the professor will be coming at the problem. Oh, wow. <sighs> Seriously? But, but I thought you were coming when I made all the arrangements. Hold on, this changes everything. We have factored in your strength when planning for this operation. That's precisely why. If our little fledglings are going to learn to fly, they'll need to be pushed out of the nest. Me there? None of them will experience true growth. I've already reported this to the intelligence division. <laughs> what good would it do me to trap heaps about in the wilderness with all of you? The operations and record keeping will be performed by my disciple Ken. Good luck dealing with your sudden look of power. <sighs> He's mad too. It's almost time. We'll just have to leave the three others and get going. Understood. Such pain. He was mad. Did you see him? It's been three weeks since we've begun here, and I'm sure there are still some of you with worries. But after the Panzer sold out training yesterday, a new door has opened for you. <laughs> From ancient times, Travel has been used as a way to foster growth. I hope this will be such She's a She's got such evil you. eyes. That is all. Jesus. Yes, ma'am! Hey, there's a new Orlando, I leave our fledglings in your care. Damn, you say my name? Understood. Damn. Please, leave it to us. Why do you, you say Schwarzer? I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff going, but I'll do what I can. As for you, Schwarzer, mm. the lull that's gone on since the end of the Northern War is now over. Mm. As someone with great power, you must stay alert and always be aware of the flow of events in the world. Face that which you lack. Head on. Rely on those around you when you need to. <clears throat> Principal? Understood. In regard to Panzer Soldat maintenance, I've already told you the basics. If you need to perform a minor fix, you can do it yourself. Show me what a representative of GCF. the Zyphon factory can do. Man, bro. Like I said, I'm so happy I played the Sky Trilogy. Yes, leave it to me. Yeah. Wow. That is awesome. Where are we going? Where are we going, sir? Hmm. I suppose all it takes are the right words to make someone leap headlong into danger, eh, General? In a danger? What? Twenty-four students and instructors. How many will make it back, I wonder? What? 
A turbulent era lies ahead, where it won't matter who you are or where you're from. If they're not strong enough to make it through this, they don't have much of a future waiting for them anyway. Oh my god, where are they sending us? Man, she is so hot. Where did they just send us? There's a couple of places we did. Like, I, and it's crazy, I was thinking about that. I was like, there's a lot of- Oh, the Imperial Villa, remember that? There are a lot of places we get to go to. Like, Jirai, you know, Crow's home. We didn't go to St. Ark. There was another place they went to, too. What is this interesting? I'm about to say, I'm about to be like, damn, they got the flesh around like this? I really want to know more about her. Of course, the homie Kurt, man. That man. Her, both of them. Like, I mean, she's kind of cool too with that whole Eastern thing going on, but Leonora with the green hair and definitely Jessica. This man said shower room. Look at him. Talking about some shower. Yeah. He's like, pee. Need to be getting peace of uh, your girl. Oh, it was Sandy. Like, bro, he always got that lazy look on him. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's got that lazy look. The good exercises are scheduled to last for three days this time. Didn't they last three? No, I want to say they lasted for two days. After we're going to St. Ark. Uh, I mentioned that. We will move the field as grounds nearby. Once we finish setting up all the facilities, each class will begin their own exercises. I see, so the train itself is going to be our base. That's why we were assigned our own private train. Makes sense. Seems like it's got pretty much anything we need. For more information on each class's exercise task, please see the provided documents. Hmm? Sorry, but it seems that class 7 isn't mentioned here. Oh, you're right. We prepared a special series of exercises for class 7. Because of this, we plan to have a separate meeting once we arrive at the field exercise room. Instructor Schwarzer and the three members of Class 7 will be present at this meeting. The students too? Oh, color me intrigued. Well, don't get your hopes up. This meeting is to go over a task unique to the spec house. A task unique to the spec house? What they could be? Well, I suppose we'll get more details tomorrow morning. There are reports of possible threats in Southern. It was a miscalculation on the principal's part to not join us. However, we must simply handle matters with our available personnel. If Claire really is joining us, my, <laughs> my dog, I'm going to do that fucking uh, flawless, what was it, flawless leadership? Oh my god. Like everybody gets a free turn. These are not the really training exercises. We need each and every one of you to treat this as if it were a live combat situation. Understood. I gather at the members of class seven more. Very well. This concludes the briefing. Instructor Sergeant Orlando, brief your students on their task. For now, each of you, that is all. Dismissed. Task you need to class seven. Arrive at St. Art tomorrow morning. I'm sure the students in Melham are already. I'll take one more look around the train just in case. Oof! Okay, we're going to the, uh, oh god, we're in turbo mode, huh? Wait, is. Alright. 
investigate. Take a shower. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Assault point. What the? What are assault points? Huh? I mean, that's BP? Is that BP? I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, so wait. Um. Oh, somebody's clearly in here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Louise, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, okay. Alright! Oh, look, it's some of the... You look busy as ever, Toad. Uh, well, yeah, a little. I have a feeling Class 9 is gonna be in a charge setting up camp for the Felix exercise tomorrow. So I thought it'd be a good idea to start preparing. I was sorry for saddling you with even more work than usual. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. I'm used to being busy after all. Besides, I'm sure you guys are e going to be even busier than me. You might need to jump in a battle at any time. You haven't even been told the details of what you're supposed to do. Oh, that's something I'm used to. By now, but now that you mention it, I'd still rather know what we're supposed to be doing. Well, uh, the way Major Irving was talking, it seems like it's, it's a pretty dangerous situation. Unlike some of the other regions, there's been very little info about the Jaeger Corps movements here. Oh, really? The border with the borough is right at the south, after all. Since Jaeger Corps are completely prohibited over there, it's not easy for them to get into Erebonia from that direction. After what happened the last time with the whole yeah, oh my god. See, so it'd be difficult for them to operate in large squads. If they're in small units, that could be trouble. Yeah, we shouldn't take things lightly. We need to lead our students. I get through the day in one piece. Definitely. I don't plan on losing anyone out there. Good luck tomorrow, too. You too. Get a good night's sleep and try not to overdo it tomorrow, okay? Can do. So we saw it. Claire. Claire is fine ass. Do I get access to Claire? Of course I do. Oh, me. Are you patrolling the train? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I 
I thought I'd talk for the students now that I have the chance. <laughs> Is that so? You're growing up into a fine man. I'm sure Sarah would be proud. Not a chance. I got nothing on instructor Sarah. Sometimes even my students <laughs> will scold me. Well, even so, I'm really... I was concerned about how you were faring last year after the Northern War. Mm. Like that picture, like is that Sarah over there? It has to be. I've been doing alright, all things considered. Major player of the RMP, thank you for all your assistance back then. Oh no, not at all. It was you, Altina, and Sarah who did all the heavy lifting, so to speak. We were able to respond so swiftly thanks to Velomar and the braces gathering the city fence to safety. But it ended up being a painful experience for both you and Sarah. Oh man. Damn, I'm sorry I shouldn't be talking about this. What happened? As you know, it was the RMP who built the supply line for General Le Guin's army of Panzer soldats. It was all for the Imperial government. No. It was all to make His Excellency's wishes to come true. Damn awesome. Nothing. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Why does someone like you continue to work under him? How did you become to be an iron? Well, I know a little about the circumstances. Sure, Major Lecter and the Governor General both had their reasons too. But you, Claire, you seem like you're the odd one out to me. You're doing RP work, you're sincere, caring, and I understand why Yuna's opened up to you like she has. Wow. When I think of that, all that, it seems even stranger. Why, Claire? I'm not a great person as you think I am. In this huge world, I'm just one small person. I have nothing. If His Excellency hadn't taken me in, I would have disappeared entirely. What? Oh, look. No! Talk about that! Chancellor Gilead Osborne is my savior. He took me in ten years ago after I had lost everything in an accident. It was also thanks to him that I found Thor's Military Academy and the RMP, places where I belong. My gratitude to him is not something I could ever hope to repay, even if I were to work my whole life. Wow. Sorry, I didn't know any of that. Don't worry, man. I don't think any of this will excuse my actions. Rather, I believe I must face the things I've done for the future. I took part in claiming Crossbill in Northern Embryo for his exiles. I must face those whose lives I've disrupted in doing so. Claire. But you don't need to feel that way, too. You've been piloting your Divine Knight on behalf of the Imperial Government for the past year. But I'm sure you've been thinking about how you should act as a member of Class 7 this whole time. Well, it's not quite as impressive as you make it sound. But it's kind of embarrassing that you can see right through me like that. I guess I should have known I couldn't keep anything from the ICA. Uh, that title is starting to feel like it's a little too over the top for me lately. I am the second half of my 20s. Wow. So she's 20, you know, between 25 and 30, obviously. I want to say Sarah's 30, 28, 28, 26, something like that. She's in her second half of her 20s. You're still hot. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Instructor Sarah might have changed a bit since she went back to being a bracer. Wow. Is that why she's so fucking hot now? Why did, why does Sarah look like she's gotten younger? But you're the same as you were when I 
first met you two years ago, or rather. Ravel, are you there? Is that everybody? Shit. There's something I need to confirm with you. Oh. <coughs> Me, Jeremy. <laughs> Have I interrupted something? Oh, no. We, we were just having a small talk. Well, then, Major Claire, I'll excuse myself now. <laughs> Please be sure to get some rest, Tyree. I don't think you need to force yourself to figure out your relationship with him right now. I'm sure you'll eventually be able to come to terms with it, with it all. So for now, I think you should just take your time and slowly organize your thoughts one by one. Thanks. Makes me feel a bit better. I don't know what that was about, but you're certainly acting compassionate today. You trying to replace a meal with him? A meal? What the fuck is a meal? Huh? She didn't say anything. Forget it. I was out of line for you. Huh? That's not my intention. So, what was it that you needed to confirm with me? It's about the information we'll be sending east. Major Claire. Hey, you. Oh, is the briefing over? What's the plan for tomorrow? The other class has got instructions, but uh, but not us. About that, I actually wasn't told either. I'll be able to give you the details tomorrow morning. Huh? Come on, you're a teacher. You need to get it together. This is just like what happened during the entrance ceremony. Well, it seems like our exercises are going to be a bit of a special case. All class 7, including myself, will get a briefing tomorrow morning. Ah, <sighs> fine. Chuck the Clara was way more on top of things than Academy. Hey now, I've got no chance if you compare me to Major Claire. I'm a little surprised though. You respect her so much even though she's her opponent. Uh, like, like I told Kurt, it's not that I hate Erebonians or anything. She's the perfect commander, an incredibly skilled mark marksman. She's yeah, she did have that one time when we were going against uh Leo and Zeno. And sincere? She's the she's the one who saved me. Gave me a chance. A chance? I, I'm just saying it's impossible not to respect it. someone I can name. Oh, well, I agree. You can't avoid respecting her. She's helped me out more time now since I met her back when I was a student. Oh. Explains well, why you two seemed oddly close. You might have to thoroughly... You really don't. It's not like that. I'm nowhere near as good as Major Claire, but I promise to do the best I possibly can. I don't know if we'll, what we'll be doing tomorrow. I'm sure you get enough rest. I don't need you to tell me that. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So only class. Ah, oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Can't say I'm not more than a little curious. Honestly, it's keeping me up at night. By the way, do you know what Vanish Masters is? A new game that everybody's talking about, huh? I only just started playing myself, though. Oh, so you do play. I just picked it up myself. This is perfect, actually. How about a match or two? I don't mind, but won't that just keep you awake longer? Maybe, but it's probably best to give our mind off tomorrow. Wipe, my, wipe the full mind of shirt. <laughs> I'm just a beginner, too, but don't think you're just gonna... I, I'm just gonna make it easy. Alright, enough talk. Let's get it. Let's get it! Whoa, look at her! You're on, instructor. Crazy. You're on, instructor.
Here we go. Why does she keep getting more magic? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? Time to get her set it up. How do you like that? You're on, instructor.
wait a minute, what the fuck? Why could that thing attack twice? Wait a minute! The fuck was all of that? Hold the fuck off. Ah. The car can't act twice? That's some black luster soldier shit. Oh my god, you can't be serious. You like that? All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. When we come back, we will probably get to see everyone else on the train and hopefully make our way to our next destination. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But until then, I guess I'll catch you guys later for more Trails of Post Seal Three.